Hello friends, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. This is spring break for my boys at the house. So I hope you love the sound of little boys playing together and making lots of noise because they're in the room right next to my filming studio. Anyway, um, I still wanted to get some videos out and I wanted to share this kit with you that Magnolia Seed over on Etsy shared with me and it's called General Store Vibes. It is so cute. I cannot wait to show you what she's put together. If um, you will go over to her shop, the link is in the description box below. You can purchase one of these kits as well. I know you all love kits and bundles and things like that, just like I do. She also sent me a wallpaper roll that she has these in her shop as well. This is really pretty and I kind of want to open it and um, I love the colors, but I want to see the pattern a little better. I think it's really cool that she's selling little rolls like this. Uh, I think there's so much in there that you could cover, you know, cover smaller journals, you could make pockets, you can, I always, oh, look at those pretty big flowers. So she has, I don't know if they're all the same in her shop or different ones, but you can go check it out. But what I think is really neat about having like a roll like this, I love getting extras of things to share in Happy Mail and swaps and things like that. Another thing, if you have an Etsy shop, you want to look for things like this because you can cut off a big section. You can hear the boys. Huh. Um, you can cut off a big section for yourself and then you can share with others. You can cut it down into pieces and sell um, pieces in your shop as well. So it's kind of like buying wholesale and that's just kind of a trick for um, finding things to make money in your shop. Also buying that and making like wallpaper pockets, wallpaper journal cards, things like that. Stock your shop up and it's a win for Magnolia Seed and it's a win for you. So that's wonderful. So let's get into this general store vibes. First, I just love the brown paper bag and the string. I think that really adds to it. I was reading her Instagram post about, um, I am so sorry how loud they are. I am so used to ignoring it and talking over it. I hope it doesn't bother you. It's just my life and I don't apologize for them just for the noise. So, and they're calling me, so I will be back in a minute. So I am back now. Um, so I love the brown paper bag, which you can use to make a journal cover or all sorts of different things as well. Uh, like I was saying, I was reading her Instagram post and she was saying how she imagined maybe Anne of Green Gables buying something like this at the store and different fabrics and things like that. One of my favorite books, one of my favorite stories of all time would be Anne. And um, I grew up watching the movies and reading the books for sure. So let's just get right into this. First, I have to say, like I say in every kit that I share of hers, she packages them so beautifully. I always learn something from her. And I think that's wonderful. Even if we don't have the financial means to go buy every kit, we can still look at it and gain inspiration about how we can put things together in a really pleasing way. So she has a piece of cardboard in here to kind of hold it up so it doesn't just flop and it presents really well. A little pin holding this together here. I'm just gonna open it up and get right into it. So here's like a ruffle. Look at how pretty that is. Ruffle, another ruffle. Very pretty. I love this. This is so pretty. And look at what a big piece you get. It's like nine of these little doilies you could cut out and use. And then here's a piece of lace. And that is quite a big piece as well. So that would cover a journal. And then, oh, look at this. It's like a linen. How pretty. So you get that. And oh, yep, yeah, screaming in the background. Sorry about that. Here's some gingham. I have seen this before. And I think my mother-in-law or my mom, one of them had sheets like this. Um, I think. And then here's like some, I want to say this is like muslin or something. So it's absolutely beautiful. She color coordinates everything just incredibly. I mean, I learn something from her every time I get to handle her beautiful work. So that is this part and I'm putting it back like at least somewhat because it's just so pretty and I'm like, don't want to ruin it. And then there's two little bags. I don't know what's in them, but I am so excited to see. Of course you can reuse the bags. Oh my goodness, my boys. Well, I had to take just a little bit of a break there because they were all falling apart, my boys and I had to settle them and calm them and distract them and everything else. So I'm back and I apologize for that. So we were getting into these little bags. Oh wow, 
little pretty things. So we have a tag here with a boho bead, but she's used some of the fabric. A little button on a bulb pin, a bead on a bulb pin, some little burlap flowers. Look at this. So cute. Little button card she made, a burlap tag, some like vintage money from like a game, some embroidery thread. I really love what she's chosen for this. Incredible. So pretty. All right, let's put all of those back in there and open this other bag. All right, I am super excited to see what's in here because I don't, oh wow. It says, for your inspiration, how to make a hemp cord tassel. Video by Shawcraft One. So she has a little link here that you can go to to see how to make a tassel. And you have all these wooden beads and some hemp cord. So you could make a beautiful tassel to go on your journal. So I think that is incredible. I want to watch that video. So that is the kit. I hope that you will purchase it. If you can't, please go um, subscribe to her YouTube channel and follow her on Etsy so that you will be alerted when she has new content coming out. And um, yeah, leave some comments below and let me know what you think of her kit, of the wallpaper she has. So beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I'm inspired. I love it. I, I loved this little bag of goodies right here. I think that with a little button card, that and then this right here. That's my favorite. So pretty. And I think I'm going to take this tag maybe with a couple of snippets from various little pieces and stick them into a junk journal, into my personal junk journal so I can kind of see some of it and remember the kit and remember her along with a little note on the guest check that she wrote me. So thank you all for watching. My boys need me. I need to go. Sorry, this is a short video, but I love each and every one of you.